What a do, Jive Turkeys, and welcome back to the Controversy. And this is the Boondocks Rewatch. I'm waking up, new shoes, new socks, two blocks, TV locked on Boondocks. Boondocks. I bought a brand new Trey 8 with my old AK today. What's good, day? So we're going to rewatch all four seasons. Um, some episodes are better than others. Talking to you, uh, season four. <laughs> Without further ado, here we go. This is uh, episode one, season one, uh, The Garden Party. Here we go. I'm not a prophet, but sometimes I have prophetic dreams, like the one where I was at a garden party. Uh-oh. Excuse me, everyone, I have a brief announcement to make. Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Also, uh, Elvis stole from black culture. Thank you for your time, and good night. <laughs> this looks exactly like my comment section. All the time. Yeah. All the time. And, uh, yeah, people freak the fuck out. I don't know why. Why people would just wild out when you say when you question like your your normal reality, you know, especially like with white culture of uh, hey, maybe the things you were taught as a child or the history books are maybe they're lying to you, maybe it's been whitewashed. People really act like this, like yeah. in my comment section. And thank you guys for watching my videos, by the way. You know. <laughs> No way that little girl just... Ow! Mm-hmm. You having that dream where you made the white people riot, weren't you? But I was telling the truth! How many times have I told you you better not even dream about telling white folk the truth? You understand me? How you gonna whoop this boy for a dream? <laughs> Shoot. Making white people riot. You better learn how to lie like me. I'm gonna find me a white man and lie to him right now. <laughs> I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration. The make me the same song. Where did I say? All right, saggy dick and balls. He's real flexible for an old fart. Oh, that's a Tybo dude. Sorry, Billy Blake. But why buy the tape when you can get the infomercial for free? Facts. Y'all need to start appreciating your granddaddy. I went and spent your inheritance on this beautiful house in this neighborhood. And all I ask you to do is act like you got some class. Act. Learn some math. Class. And this is a thing that you don't act like niggas. See, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. We don't use the N word in this house. Granddaddy, you said the word nigga 46 times yesterday. I count. Nigga, hush. <laughs> no, you may not like this. Did you know that the new white man loves gourmet cheese? Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say cheese? Yep, cheese. You give the meanest white man a piece of cheese and he turned into Mr. Rogers. Let me know in the comments, is that true? Did, uh, is that y'all's kryptonite, is it? Cheese? I, I, I wouldn't know. Granddad, that doesn't make sense. Don't you talk back to me, boy. Granddad, you can't tame the white supremacist power structure with cheese. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, can. If only those politicians had cheese that day of the, the Capitol riots. <laughs> A lot of stuff would have been uh, <laughs> calmed the hell down that day. I know about white people too. Like when they talk, they say the whole word like this. Yeah, it depends on where you're at in the South. Why do you mean Definitely not that? talking like that. Probably. Who the hell would be knocking on this door this early? If it's a D over with, I'm kicking his ass. Yes, I'm looking for Robert Freeman. Ed Wensler, the voice of the old man from Up. He's still alive, by the way. You'd think he's in his 90s. Asner. Asner, yes. Uh, Ed Asner. Uh, yeah, very funny dude. Still alive, by the way. Very. And it's. He's I'm so old. I'm surprised they got him for this show. It's very interesting. <laughs> I'm Robert Freeman. I'm Ed Wensler from Wensler Savings and Loan. Uh, uh, his name's his name is Wensler, in the in show. In real life, his name is Asner. Ed Wasner in, uh, in real life, but Wensler in the uh, show. But yeah, yeah. The I old see. man from Up saying fucking shit. It's so funny. The bank that owns your house. Oh, well, uh, come in, sir. Uh -huh. Welcome to your house. 
Look how quick he turned into a coon when he said that. <laughs> Come on, sir. Come on in the house. I this right this way, massa. Doesn't he give him cheese? Robert, <laughs> my family founded wood. I consider this place to be family, and I'm very selective about who I allow into that family. You understand what I'm saying, Robert? I understand you're a Karen, yeah. Hey, yes, I totally understand. Would you like some cheese? Did you just offer me cheese? <laughs> yes, I did. I'd love some cheese, thank you. I'd like to ask some questions, if you don't mind. Are you gay, and if so, do you have a gay lover living with you in the house? Gay? No, I'm not gay. I mean, I happen to think a man looks nice, but... How rich do you gotta be to, like, care that much if your rent's being paid? <laughs> I don't... If you're if you're doing each other in the butt and you're making me money, I don't care. He said it's either black or gay, not both. <laughs> <laughs> we only do it one in this neighborhood. All right, let's not get carried away. What's your position on gay marriage? Well, first of all, I believe all marriage is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Uh, you don't look like you associate with any Muslims, Arabs, you know, people of terrorist descent. It's interesting. These this this uh, this came out in 2005, so a lot of that um, hatred toward Muslims and Al Qaeda and stuff like that was high. Yeah, yeah, it was at all time high. It was real fresh. So that's that's why if you listen to this and be like, what is it? why is he even bringing this up? But yeah, <laughs> this has been delightful. Well, it has really been a pleasure, Mr. Uh, I own everything. <laughs> we should get together soon and have uh, uh, more cheese. Like a nice brie or the... Man, did he even get any of the cheese? No. <laughs> Can I have my gun back? No! Son of a gun! A garden party? Yeah, boy! Granddad, I do not sip tea with the enemy. You can force me to go, but you cannot force me to be someone I'm not. The hell I can't! You <laughs> gonna go and you're not gonna embarrass me in front of my new neighbor, or I'm gonna beat your ass. Why can't we? I love that line because it just reminds me of every day going to church as an elementary school kid, just giving my mom the hardest time for no reason. <laughs> be ourselves, huh? Why can't I be me? Are you ashamed of us? Very. We never <laughs> asked to move here with your precious new white people, Granddad. Didn't ask. Well, you did ask for us to be attacked by dogs and fire hoses so you can live here. But we did it oh, anyway. Here he go again with the dogs and the fire Shoot, hoses. We were attacked by dogs and fire hoses. Were you attacked? <laughs> I don't know what difference that makes. Because it's like the whole generation tries to take credit for what happened to some people. That's ridiculous. Now, see, well, you know, uh, what had happened was... This man showed up. Oh, hey. <laughs> Missed it. Was it bad? Did they do the thing with the fire hoses? What do you think, chump? Damn, was he new? A goddamn German ship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to go back to the apartment because I forgot my raincoat. You went to, you, this nigga went to get a motherfucking raincoat. I can't believe you. We all been watching the same news. The police been doing this fire hose thing all week. I just assumed he don't wear a raincoat. Damn it, Robert. Who the hell shows up to a march with a raincoat? Bet you wish you had your raincoat right now. You son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Who actually got hit with the fire hose ain't important. Now we're going to this party and your black asses are going to behave. If I'm lucky, I'll find myself a nice white woman with a flat booty who will listen to my problems. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, out of the way, Kuta Kente. Yes, sir. Uh, Uncle Ruckus, one of my favorite characters right here. He said, out of my way, Kuta Kente. Excuse me. Oh, Lord, how much is security? Security, we got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a cold black? They are some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. So. I just want to pause this real quick. This was my introduction to the Boondocks. Like all that stuff before it, I didn't even get to see that part. I was I remember watching Adult Swim one day, just clicking the channels, and I wasn't even paying attention to the television. I just put it on. I think I might have been on the computer or doing something, 
And I just heard Uncle Ruckus firing off on black people. I just like, the hell? What is what, what is this? <laughs> and it just immediately reminded me of that skit from the Chappelle show where um, he played Clayton Bigsby, the, the blind uh, racist yeah, black guy. <laughs> So I was like, oh, man, they made a, uh, a cartoon version of Clayton Bixby. And so that immediately, I stopped what I was doing to see what the hell this was. So this scene right here was the reason I knew what the boondocks was. Like, that got my attention immediately. What y'all doing here? Delivery in the back. Wow. Well, my name is Robert Freeman. I was invited here by Ed Wansler. Well, I'm Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus. No relation. And I'll wait for Mr. He always introduces himself that way. I'm Uncle Ruckus. No relation. To you. <laughs> Mr. And you slick niggas ain't gonna... To you niggas. Fast <sighs> talk your way into this damn party. Ruckus, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Mr. Freeman, I'm sorry. Please come this way. Why is his jacket so small? See, boys? Because he's a fat man. Huh? It's a lot of lawn work. It's not like he does it. Gotcha. Well, he might. Fun fact, Uncle Ruckus has like 12 jobs. Oh, no, I, I was talking about the owner. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, you're right. Glad you made it, Robert. This is my grandson, Hudson III. How are you? What's up, y'all? What's good? Charlie Murphy! That, I thought it was hilarious that they got Charlie Murphy's black ass to play this white dude. <laughs> Immediately when I heard his voice, I was like, that's Charlie Murphy. But, I mean, that that just made it funnier to me. I got a feeling he improv this <laughs> Bombs blowing up, and you know, the shit scared me. It scared the shit out of me. Matter of fact, I shit on myself over a dozen times and ran out of toilet paper after the second time. So, you know what that meant, right? I had to use the thumb, man. It was kind of nasty. But, you know, the good thing about it was they stopped taking me out on patrol because my name became Snake Bomb. You know what I'm saying? They said you know, I was giving away our position because of the shit smell. That was fine with me. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they want to leave me back. And I was like, well, fuck y'all. Y'all go ahead on, because I don't need y'all anyway. I'm rich, bitch. The fuck y'all looking at? Hey, little man. Like guns? Yeah. Come on. I love how, like, Huey looks like a revolutionary, and then Riley looks like, like a... a uh, Cuban drug dealer. <laughs> I'm only see the passion. It's a very important movie. Couldn't see. Don't get don't get started on the fucking passion in this. See, <laughs> white Jesus. Excuse me. Come on, man. It's supposed to be all historically accurate, and they still have a white man playing Jesus. That's some old bullshit. Young man, you speak so well. Well, I, I mean that is actually how. Growing up in a white church, I felt like when I would say stuff like that, they were like, oh, this is cute. He's just a boy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. As a grown-up, though, <laughs> man, you know, it's World War Three when you say shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I did die to do. Look like we got us the winner of the lucky nigga of the year award. I'd love to hear the origin story, how his eyes like like that. We never get one, though. They must think the sun shine out your ass. Mr. Wunsch has been very nice. Yes. They must thank you, Sidney fucking It looks like he took a ping pong guy. ball and just well, threw been... a dot on it and just popped it in there. I've been waiting for Mr. <laughs> Wunsch for 20 years. I ain't never got invited to the party. Shoot, he don't even let me use the front door. But you wouldn't know about that now, would you, Mr. Tim? So, um, <laughs> Mr. Um, Uncle Ruckus is like a metaphor for the um, black self-hate like you know of course um steven from django and, uh clayton bigsby from chappelle show so he he's a representation of like black hate ben carson candace owens and stuff like that the way he's talking like oh i've been shining shoes and stuff i ain't never been invited to the party you know is that's and that just instead of being mad at that guy for not inviting him he's mad at the black man for, for <laughs> yes they got to go yeah, yeah. oh yeah they must think your shit smell like spring, dated, and set. Are those real? Real. Put it this way. If I pick one up and put it to your face, pull the trigger, will you be dead? You just drop some bars, huh? 
<laughs> and all I'm saying is, Ronald Reagan was a devil. You are such an articulate young man. I'm trying to explain to you that Ronald Reagan was the devil. Ronald Wilson Reagan? Each of his names has six letters? Six, six, six? Man, doesn't that offend you? I love this kid. <laughs> Stop that. What are you doing? Stop clapping. The only joy I get from these parties is standing around telling mean-spirited jokes at other people's expense. I'd do that too. Check out that guy. Why is his face all twisted up like that? Looks like he jacks off with Icy Hot. <laughs> he looks like he just wow. shouldn't have <laughs> Ed Wunster seems like the old man I would love to chill with. Like, he's, I would be looking, I look for an Ed Wunstler in every function like that that's all proper and shit. Like, where's the guy, where's the old man that likes to talk shit? I want to be with him. <laughs> <laughs> Jerks off with icy hot. Sorry. Video recording of the Pentagon attack seized by the FBI and never seen again. He speaks so well. He's adorable. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Oh. Nigga, if you ruin this party for me, I'll put my. Ruin the party? They love me. These people aren't worried about us. They're not worried about anything. They're rich. No matter what happens, these people just keep applauding. He's got a point. A lot of these people, like, um, like if you say the stuff he's been saying that do get offended, look at their tax bracket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're getting, because, you know, their lives are not as happy as it. You say this to some rich white people, hey, uh, you know, 9-11 was a conspiracy. Jesus was black. You know, Elvis stole from black culture. Like, oh, that's cute. You know, I'm going to go to my mansion now. Like, what? There's nothing you could say to offend them. And, you know, at the end of the day, they might even actually know that that's true. So that, but it, again, you see other white people that you might say that to. They're not in that type of tax bracket. And like, how dare you talk about Elvis like that? How dare you say Jesus wasn't white? <laughs> You've offended me. My whole life I've been taught that. You've offended me. I dare you. And I'm going to kill you. <laughs> no One of my favorite scenes of the whole series is coming up right now. All four seasons. This is definitely top five. One of my favorite scenes. Check it out. I want to sing y'all a brand new song I just wrote called Don't Trust Them New Niggas Over There. Sing <laughs> along if you know the word. I love how he said, I just made this song up. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> well, don't trust those new niggas over there. <laughs> this is the name of the song. <laughs> Sing along if you know the words. Don't trust them new niggas over there. Leaving they nigga essence in the air. Them happy. <laughs> now, are you sure that I said pull that trigger now? <laughs> you want to play well? Okay. Don't trust them big nostrils over yonder. <laughs> they suck up so much air, it'll make you wonder. Those white people are very uncomfortable, by the way. Like, why? What the? <laughs> Don't trust them new niggas with their spotty little nigga figures. Don't trust them new niggas. Oh, <laughs> I think the N word is okay as long as they say it. <laughs> Again, their tax bracket, they, they don't care. I ain't gonna lie, Uncle Ruckus might have had a point about these black people coming to this party. <laughs> you got Huey telling the truth to all these people. You got Riley shooting people out of the windows. <laughs> then you got Uncle Ruckus making a damn fool of himself on the tent. <laughs> and it all, it's all the black people doing. <laughs> Maybe they should have took their black asses home. I don't know. Fuck y'all looking at <laughs> Then he gets an applause. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty entertaining though. If I was at this party, like, what yeah. what else is about to happen? <laughs> hey, you think we in trouble? You shot his 
grand set out the window. What you think? Man, I like that house. Oh well, I shot a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wimsler, I'm sorry about the whole, you know, my grandson shooting your grandson out of the window thing. Are you mad? In 30 years, that boy will be the president of the United States. And he'll still be a fucking idiot. That, my friends, is white privilege. Mm -hmm. He just called it out, basically. He could do and say whatever the fuck he want. He will be successful. He's a white billionaire's grandchild. He's, he's going to be okay. Glad you were able to make it, Robert. To the old school. To the old school. That was episode one, season one, The Garden Party. Toddy, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, hmm. It was funny. I like how it's just like sometimes very subtly just calling out random like small things that people do and say that just don't make sense yes but yeah. i feel like that's pretty much like the show though yeah i think yeah. it's just that's what it's made for yeah a lot of um realistic s situations i mean not saying that every garden party has someone getting shot out of a window and stuff but like I mean, i've never been to a garden party so nah, I i've know. never either <laughs> <laughs> maybe they do but just the um i feel like it this episode was basically telling people how uncomfortable situations can be for black people when they're in like a full white situation now i'm not saying that it's wrong for us to mix i'm all for us mixing i'm i would love to go to a white party or a black party whatever just all that stuff but when you're like the minority at the party, it does, there is some awkwardness to it. And especially depending on like the type of people. Yes. Like, I don't know. They just, they have their ideas about you, especially if they're not around. Oh, for like sure. Like a lot of black people. So then like once they're put in a situation where they have access to some black people, they're like, oh my God, like. Mm -hmm. Do you want to dance? <laughs> or like, you know, some shit that they just expect you to do because you're black. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite part? Maybe the song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Song's classic. Don't trust those doom niggas over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like. I love that part. I love the beginning, too, when he's uh, exercising, too. When John Witherspoon, I mean, Granddad's exercising. It's pretty funny. But, yeah, that's episode one. Tomorrow we'll do this episode two. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I love it. Um, that was That's the introduction to the world of this beautiful show, The Boondocks, based off of a comic strip from Aaron McGrudder. He used to do them in a college paper, and then he had his own strip. And then eventually he got, a, he got picked up with Cartoon Network. Don't swim. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments. What did you think of The Garden Party? Did you think it was as funny as we thought it was? I love that episode. Uh, Uncle Ruckus, you know, right? Charlie Murphy, rest in peace. You know, Charlie Murphy and John Witherspoon, rest in peace. Yeah. And just so surprised that Ed, uh, Ed once, or Asner is still alive. And, you know, hopefully he'll be alive for another hundred years because he is hilarious. Hilarious. Let's love peace and chicken grease.